Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sheila Bela, and I'm coming to you with another review of Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 5. I don't know what episode this is, y'all. I've been under the weather. I've been having these coughs. <clears throat> the weather been crazy down here, and it's been affecting me, so I got to get through this review. I'm going to make it cute, short, sweet, straight to the point, hopefully. All right, so the episode picks up where... The episode picks up... Melody is getting a massage, right? She says she's been stressed out. She needs to keep her stress level low, and she's trying to be in her peace. So she getting a massage. The man, he got it good. He doing her neck, her back, and all this stuff, right? So while she getting her massage, it's a ring dong, ding dong, ding dong. It's the bell. And Melody asked, you know, the dude, go get the bell. You know, I forgot I had company coming over. I'm getting my massage. It's been so good. I just forgot people was coming. So who who at the door? Oh, it's Stormy. Oh, hey, Stormy, girl. Come on in. So Stormy get in. They start talking, right? Girl, how you doing? How was the trip? Trip was good. Trip was fine. Everything was cool. You know, the thing that got me was after the trip. Girl, what happened after the trip? You know, on social media, and for some reason, Stormy, she don't never know. Stormy don't never know nothing. I guess Stormy is that busy that she don't even look at social media. So Melody had to fill her in. Girl, yeah. You know, <clears throat> She was on the phone with Martel. Martel didn't call Melody Arian's name. Melody said she won't trip because it happened. Then Stormy said, well, maybe, you know, he did it on purpose. She said, girl, if he did, I ain't even worried about it. Because, you know, she, you know, Melody, she above it. She, she's unbothered. But she said what did get to her is when Martel sharing her status that she had COVID. And so she was like, I don't appreciate her telling the world that I had COVID. That ain't even none of her business. But I was like, dang, Mel, you been with your kids. Her kid been around your kid. So everybody's supposed to know everybody's status. That's what I thought. So we could prevent it. We can quarantine just in case. Those were the rules. I don't think the rules change. <clears throat> if you ain't took no tests, y'all need to be quarantined or whatever y'all going to do. But I don't think that was wrong for him telling her. But I do think it was wrong for her telling everybody else because we need to know that. Right. So then Stormy brings up the fact about, you know, Martel dating Sheree. Melody said, I ain't worried about that. You know, Melody said that um, um she ain't got no problem with Sheree. She thinks Sheree is a very beautiful woman. Martel ain't the first woman that Martel um, them brought around the kids and all that stuff. You know how Mel do. I, from Mel's perspective, don't nothing bother her. Everything rolls off her back because she's above it. She's unbothered and she ain't messed up about it. That's what Mel tell us. And if that's what she say, then that's just what she say. So, you know, Stormy just taking it for what it is. She's like, oh, okay, girl, whatever, whatever. So, now, <clears throat> Martel, he getting his honest event, right? So, he with Chris Fletcher and Destiny. I don't know where Mel Nika is. Ever since the rumors came out that Mel Nika and Martel had messed around, Mel Nika ain't been found no more. So, Martel done got somebody else. I forget what her name is. So they all together. Destiny and they talking. And then Destiny, you know, bring up um, Sheree. Is she coming? Martel said Sheree ain't coming. She said it's best that, pretty much it's best that she don't come. Because everybody going to be talking about what they got going on. But then um, Destiny brings up the video that, Destiny brings up the video of Melody talking about Martel and him dating Sheree because Melody did say, Melody said she get interviewed by everybody, TMZ, HT, HGTV, Child, um, Shade Room, Gossip World, Gossip Light. She get interviewed by everybody. So <clears throat> Destiny pulls up the, the interview and here go Mel. I ain't worried about it. Martel always bring folks around these kids. That ain't the first time. That ain't gonna be the last time. <clears throat> she don't care. She above it. You know, everything Mel say, everything Mel say. So then Martel sit up and he say, I don't understand why it's any of, any of Mel's business or who I'm dating. And Destiny like, why? I mean, pretty much y'all got kids together. So she you, she really do need to be knowing who going to be around her kids and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But Martel, for some reason, he feel like they ain't none of Mel's business. And Mel shouldn't be speaking on his relationship. But I'm like, dang, Martel, they asked Melody a question. Now, if they ask her, now if it'll be different if Melody just came, nobody, nobody at all. I don't care about my tail dating. I don't care. But that ain't what happened. Somebody asked the question, what do you think about Sheree and my tail dating? They taking pictures on TMZ. What do you think? And Melody said how she felt. And that was it. All right. Let's go. All right. So here we are again. We still talking about Melody and Martel. We back over here at Marceau Nim house, right? So 
they getting ready, putting stuff together. She trying to find her outfit to wear, trying to tell them about, um, Marceau, you need to get you a good outfit. We need to be coordinating, coordinating, right? And so Martel, excuse me, Marcel, Marceau said he ain't no dresser. The only person that be really dressing is Maurice and Martel because Martel came to the thing with a whole fox on. Now he going to be wearing a whole dragon, whatever. So they over there talking. So I wonder if, um, if um, here we go, Sheree going to come. Martell said, Melody, basically, Martell, excuse me, basically, Marceau was saying that Melody might have an issue with Sheree because that's a level up. When, there, when he was dating Arian, it was a level down. She ain't had too much to worry about. But now she got somebody that's on a, you know what I'm saying? That's Real Housewives. That's Bravo. That's Sheree. That's she by Sheree. Even though Sheree clothing line ain't clothing like that, that's still she by Sheree. We know her. She was married to the, you know what I'm saying? That's Sheree. So, yeah, her name carries. It carries. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that hit kind of different. And, I mean, I could get what, I could get what, um, I could get what Marceau's saying. Because, I mean, if you a low-level chick, you know, you ain't got nothing on me. But I'm just that chick. I'm going to find something wrong with you just to make myself feel better. It could be your wig too tight, your wig too loose. It's shifted. It's the wrong color. Yo, fam, I'm going to be petty. If, if I don't care how fine you are, I'm going to find something wrong. <laughs> I'm going to find something wrong with you. But anyway, but, I mean, you can't hate. That's right. You got a beautiful one, beautiful one. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Or uh, whatever. So, Letitia over there like, oop, you know, I wonder if she going to come. Everybody want to know if she going to come. But I'm glad Letitia really didn't say much. Wow, oh, well, Letitia did try to say that the Melody don't be really portraying how she really feel. Stop doing that. If that girl say that she ain't bothered, let that girl be unbothered. The truth will always show itself. And I think it kind of showed itself later on in this episode. Because, child, yeah, anyway, the truth going to show up. You can say, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, and beat us until you blue in the face. But your, your emotions going to show, depending on how mad you get at somebody. Anyway, so that's that episode. I mean, that's that scene. All right, so this the night of the party. Everybody, they come in. They dress to the nines. They showing Martell. He got on, you know, everybody got on their little clothes. Everybody looking cute, right? So, all the girls over here, the girls, they sitting over there talking. Oh, girl, you cute, you cute, you cute. They asked um, Destiny, who was she? I think she said she was Lala or somebody. Chat. I don't know. I guess because it's the blonde weed. And then you got, um, you got Tiffany trying to, I guess she's trying to produce a scene. I don't know what she's trying to do because Tiffany, I don't miss you. I really don't I, I really don't miss none of these girls, to be honest. But I don't really, I really don't miss Tiffany. I I forgot Tiffany was on this show. I actually watched the credits to see if they was gonna even show Tiffany in the credits. They did. And then Destiny, for some reason, Destiny always got stank face. Still, I have no idea. She can't she can't pretend to be happy. Her pretend her pretend to be happy is still mad. Child, fix your face. Anyway. Fix that body, fix that face. See, that's Sheree. That's Sheree. Anyway, so they all talking. Oh, I wonder if Sheree going to be here. I don't know. I wonder if Mel going to be here, child. I don't know. They said when they talked the last time, you know, Melanie said her calendar um, might be booked. She don't know. She don't know. She don't know. So here go Tiffany. Last time I seen all y'all, it was at the peace party. Um, Destiny, how you doing with, um, with Melody? Because she told me that y'all had got together when you had your photo shoot. Destiny was like, uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. So here go Tiffany pushing. So, um, where you was there? Was you fake? Was you, why you got to ask if the girl was faking? All right. You know, that's going to make somebody mad. Destiny said, nah, it wasn't nothing about no faking. I mean, the only person that made me mad or that rubbed me the wrong way was you, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany said, ooh, me? Girl, yeah, you, because you need to sit down and shut up somewhere. Just sometimes you just need to listen. And then Mel and then Destiny said, Tiffany don't know how to read a room. She just, she just do stuff. She ain't reading the room. Everybody trying to chill out and have a good time. You bringing up old stuff. Child, quit bringing up old stuff. Then you want to be looking dumb when she said, hey, you are the one that rubbed her the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. So what you gonna say about that? Nothing. I don't know. Anyway, so while they over there bickering and doing whatever they doing, talking, not talking, or whatever. Back over here with the guys, you had this whole conversation with um with Marceau and um Chris Fletcher about these the words, the verbiage of it all. You know what I'm saying? 
who was you with in Atlanta? Chris Fletcher said, I was with my wife and with in Atlanta, and I end up meeting Marceau. Pretty much they said the same story. Marceau said, well, um, Marceau said that he went to Atlanta to visit a friend with was Chris Fletcher. Now, he didn't give no time. He didn't give no, I was with him for three hours, and I was with him for two hours, and I was, you know, all that stuff. He was kind of looking at Chris, saying, Chris, I mean, you don't, you don't have to really just give the specifics. Just be surface level. If we was together, we was together. Not, But dang, Marceau, that make me feel like you lying. Because he told me, why would I say I'm with somebody and that one never even there? We understand that. But Marceau, you do sound like you was lying. Because if you was with that dog on Chris Fletcher for two and a half hours, you probably did leave unless you met up with Tisha. But you was down there at that hotel with your back, with your back, in that bed, allegedly. I don't know. But I'm just saying. It seemed like a, a lie that you tried to cover for two hours. But anyway, but he going to try to tell Chris Fletcher, you need to try to get your... <laughs> you When you going to tell the story, you ain't got to give all the details, I guess. That's what I think I heard. I mean, did y'all hear something different? Because Chris Fletcher was like, we I was with you for two hours and 30 minutes. Then I went back to my wife for the rest of the night. And then before I met with you, I was with my wife. Now, I went with nobody else but my wife, you, and my wife. I don't know where you was before that time or after that time, but I know where I was. And you were not going to put me in no mess with my wife. And we just got back together. And we on a good foot. Please. Child. Anyway. Tell me, you getting backed up in the corner. You going to try to say, oh, yeah. But that's more so. He be thinking he tricky with them words. But it is what it is. If Letitia going to be with him, she going to be with him. If she ain't, she ain't. All right. So now Martel, he come over there. Question of the day. Is Melody coming? I don't know. Is Sheree coming? He says, no, nah, she not going to be there. They just going to keep it cute. They going to keep it cordial. All right. So it's time for Martel to do his um his speech. Child, my tail and got up there. Okay, well, you know, this wine that we had, it was from, um, it was a sweet red. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Back in 1942, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> anyway, that was his speech. He messed up a few times, but then he kept reading out the phone and he got it together. He talked about his mama, his Uncle Sam, and everybody else, and how his um grandma was the um was the nucleus of the family, and that's why they made the wine and all that stuff. So that was good. I was out. I mean, it was good. Everybody was clapping. Everybody was happy. You know, you got everybody around Martel. And Martel, he introduced his wine. He said his speech. And it is what it is. It was way better than what he did. Well, the ending part was better than the, was better than the first part. But at least he got it right. Okay? So everybody around, you know what I'm saying, they're having a good time. And then you have Kimmy. She's there. And Kimmy, Destiny, Courtney, and um, Stormy. So they all sitting down, they talking, right? So Kimmy, he sh Stormy says, hey, Kimmy, I ain't seen you since the peace party. All right. So that's when Kimmy breaks the news. You know, I have cancer. You know, she had found the lymph nodes. She got two of them. I think it was like she said, like a 4A, 4B. Um, Stormy asks, what stage? The second stage. That's what she said. Stage two. She going through chemo and all of that. So Destiny, she's crying. Stormy, she's crying. She gets up. She hugs her. Destiny says, "Um, is there? I know you don't. I know you're gonna tell me that you don't need anything. But if you do, just let me know." Girls, you, Kimmy is a strong friend. You just gotta pop up sometimes. Girl, just get her. Send her some Uber Eats. Just send her some a Walmart delivery to her door. Tell my hair girl. I was thinking about you. I got you some coffee and some crumpets. Just send it to her. Just send it to her house. But anyway, so Kimmy said, okay, she got her man. She, you know, he take her care of her. That's pretty much all she needs. And she said, thank you for the invitation. Thank you for thinking about me. That's, I don't think she pretty much needed your love and your care. Maurice has been the one that's really been taking care of her. And they hug, they cry. And that's pretty much it with this scene. So then you have um, Jalen. I actually... This is a scene where I kind of got a little sad about because looking from a, a, um, a kid, not a kid, but looking at his mother going through, he said he's never seen his mother cry, but only one time and that's the day that he got married. And then he saw her cry on the TV show. He said, um, 
sometimes he get sometimes um he gets information about the updates with his mom and sometimes he don't and he said him and his mom never really talked about emotional things they don't really do feelings they just you know they keep it moving day by day Jalen said he just don't know he said he don't know how to feel he don't know how to act he don't know what to do sometimes he want to cry sometimes he don't he just really don't know he just try to be there for his mama the best way that he can you know he happy that Maurice is there but at the same time you know saying he want to be there too but he don't it's like he don't really know. He don't know how to place his feelings. And Marceau says, well, you know, sometimes you just got to be there. You know, if however you feel, it's pretty much the same conversation that he had with Maurice. Sometimes you may feel strong. Sometimes you may feel weak. But just let your feelings be how they are. Then he said that when his mama had got um, cancer, um, he went to work. He shut his office down. He cried. He just shut his office down. And so... Jalen was like, well, if I let my true emotion show, show, he won't even be able to be at black. You know, he just won't. So pretty much he going through it and he really doesn't know how to be there for his mom. And that's a sad thing to be in. That's a sad place to be in. You don't know how to be there. But your mama just wants you to be there. You know, it don't have to be a, a grand gesture. It's just your presence sometimes. And then sometimes she's weak and sometimes she just wants to be by herself and just let her be that too. So, you know, it ain't, it's just, I don't know, but I, I did, I, I feel, I feel, I feel kind of, I feel bad. I feel bad for Jalen. Cause I was like, dang Jalen, you know, that's a hard, you like between a rock and a hard place right now. You just trying to figure it out and how you figure it out is how you figure it out. But I'm just praying for all y'all, praying for the family. You know what I'm saying? That everything goes well and continues to go well you know so yeah this the part sorry Jalen I'm sorry so then you have this big scene right this big 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 scene this is a scene of the night this is when Melody and Martell finally meets after the whole Martell calling her Arian name and we remember that because I I made a post about it because I was like, how did Martell going back telling the area all their business anyway? And so that and he said he just want to go to Melody. He said he want to go to Melody house. He want to talk about her, about talk to her about the kids. One of the kids moving up to a new grade and it's something about some paperwork and some camps that's going on. He want to get them involved in some camps. Right. So, Martell comes to the door. Knock, 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 knock. Child, he don't even knock on that door good. Melody step out. Hey, Martell, I got the bag for you. He was like, bag? I don't need no bag. I came to talk to you about the kids. For what? What can I talk to them about? He was like, well, you know, we moving up a grade and this, this, that, and that. So, it's almost, and I get it. I get it. I get it. I get the fact that you are upset that you told this woman, you told this woman my business. And you put it, all, and she put it all on the internet. Can Martell control that? I I really don't know, but I'm pretty sure he could. But he can get to her to where she can shut up, can't he? I mean, of course that's a different, that's an individual, but I'm pretty sure he can kind of get Ariane and not do so much. I don't even know. I don't know, but anyway. They had this whole back and forth. Melody ain't letting him in the house. She was like, I know you're not gonna, I know you're not gonna keep me outside. You know what I'm saying? It's hot out here. She was like, Have you ever been in my house before? You used to never act like you'd have been in my house before. He was just like, But dang, you'd have been in my house. You know what I'm saying? We didn't and Melody, like, just because we went on a trip together, just because we didn't hung out or whatever, whatever together, that don't mean we on good terms. We ain't on good terms no more because your chick don't know how to act right. You know what I'm saying? And so should she blame all that on him? Not a hundred percent. I really don't think a hundred percent. So, child, he he drove off. She walked off. He calling her. They come outside. They calling each other. They talking to each other. They feet away from each other, and they sitting over here talking to each other on the phone. I said, "How childish, <laughs> child? I can't cook. I can't. I can't. I can't laugh because I'm gonna start coughing." I'm like, "How childish is this?" And I mean this on both parts. I understand we made it. I get that. But at the end of the day, Melody, you did have COVID. 
and he was supposed to tell he was supposed to tell the girl that you had COVID because the kids have been around each other. He said y'all quarantined three. He said him and them kids quarantined three different times because of Melody. Melody said it ain't because of me, but I'm like, Melody, if you the only one that had COVID and you were around the kids, I think it's because of you. I mean, it is what it is. But I still understand. Don't be telling. Okay. Tell your chick to, to stay in her place. You know what I'm saying? Martel, like, well, I can't, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Martel, like, I can't uh, control her. I can't control her. Does this make, okay, isn't this remnants of Miss Wanda? I'm just saying. Because they was coming at Letitia and and, 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 and about Miss Wanda. You need to control her. need to control her. She talking about she can't control her. So now, if y'all want people to be controlling people, then Martel, you need to control your girl. You need to get her together. You need to tell quit telling all the business to the people out here in the world. Stop doing it because it is affecting the relationship that you have with Melody and your kids. Come on now. Y'all supposed to be co-parenting. He told we need to work on being good co-parenting. That's good co-parenting. And I'm saying, y'all, my son is coming in the house. I'm doing a video, baby. All right. I love you, son. All right. That don't real loud. It's, it's a lot of jiggling. You ain't gotta shut. Just, 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 just be quiet. All right, that was a that was a brief intermission, y'all. So I'm back with it, and so I'm just looking like, okay. So then Martell end up leaving. Then he end up calling her back because Martell said this is bigger than this bickering that we doing. This is about the kids and the girl leveling up, and then what they gonna do with these camps because they do need to agree on what's going on with these camps. Because at the end of the day, outside of all the BS, they need to come to some type of resolution of what they're going to do with these kids for the rest of this summer because it's hot outside. You know what I'm saying? And everybody traveling, everybody doing stuff or whatever. So they need to figure out what they're going to do. All right. So then, because Martel brought up the fact, I don't understand why we arguing. We ain't together no more. I don't want you. You don't want me. Why did he say that? Why did he say, I don't want you, you don't want me? Because Melody ended up saying, you always sitting up here talking about, I don't want you, you don't want me. But you up here calling my phone every other day. Every, you know we soulmates. We know we soulmates. We know we meant to be together. But I'm like, Melody, you be the main one saying that you ain't bothered by nothing. Quit bringing up stuff like, stuff like this. Make it seem like you pressed because... You bringing up stuff that y'all, these conversations and stuff that y'all done had. Now, if he's sitting up every time, I don't want you, you don't want me, just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. You ain't got to tell the world that he call you every 15 minutes. I mean, but if that's what you want to do, do it. But when you bring stuff up like that, it's almost like, yeah, he running around here with Sheree and Arion, but he still want me. I'm still the number one on his list that he want. You know what I'm saying? It's like you trying to let us know that he, I mean, what you are. I mean, he is, he is, but it's almost one of them things. Like, child, please, whatever. He's still calling me, child. He still want me. It's one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to prove to the people that he still wants you. And then he like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Really, this conversation was a big mess. It really, really was. It's, this is remnants since, this is remnants of when they first, first ended up getting divorced and they fussed in the parking lot when she was kept talking about, you know, about her giving head and all that stuff. It's all that. And it's and it's always, they upset. It's like it just, it goes too far. It does. It goes too far where they get nothing accomplished. They get nothing done. And she did say, she was like, well, Martel, I understand you apologize, but that still don't negate the fact that da, 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 da. All right. But if he apologizes, you supposed to accept it, then just get a, I don't know. Just, child, I don't know. But it is what it is, y'all. Oh, I recorded the um the trailer. Y'all want to see it? I'm going to show y'all. I ain't one of your women to pick. Here you go. Week on the Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion special. I'm proud of everybody sitting on the stage. Make sure your actions show that. Yeah, they do. You have a dark soul. Oh. She is the true definition of the devil in sheep clothing. Damn, Tisha. Damn. We ain't been through. Retreat now. Hey, I get along with everybody. No, you know they just. Everybody. 
When I tell you Melody came and slayed the hell, the outfit, Jelly Melody did nothing else on this reunion. She cleaned up. Anyway, y'all, this Sheila Billy, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> I can't cough. I can't, I can't laugh because it's going to be bad. All right, y'all, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Bye.